What is going on, Charles Bootenston? Today we're going to be talking about something that is not going to be controversial. It's not going to be something that's going to be new. It's not going to be something that you've never heard before. This is something that you already know, but the thing is, you're not doing it. And the reason you're not doing it is because of fear. And there's really two ways that, and this is going to be, I, I swear to God, this is going to be the differentiation between those that get what they want in the future and those that don't. Obviously, it was in the past. People became, you know, you could go to the local bar, you could be lazy, you didn't have to do what you needed to do, but because of distractions, and distractions have always been around, this isn't something new. But when you have distractions at such a magnitude, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're out and you see billboards or bright flashing lights, or you're on your computer, or you're on your phone, or you're reading a book, doesn't really matter how to get shit done. Doesn't matter, there's, there's distractions everywhere, okay? So my entire life, so you already know, 22 years old, I did absolutely nothing. I didn't read any books. I was terrible at school, everything like that. 22 to 32, I, I went to every, every seminar. I thought that knowledge was power, as Ty Lopez said. Ty Lopez says, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. The reason that I got this was because of knowledge. Listen, we, you don't need to know my thoughts on Ty. I don't know what he does. Obviously, he tries to siphon off money from his, his uh his audience, I was going to say his constituents, it's not really his constituents, it's his audience. And I think people are coming around to that. Listen, his $50,000 a month rental place and all the Ferraris and everything else, if you took that something million dollars, imagine if he took that something million dollars and he put it into real estate or he put it into even a low cost index fund. That, that, that whatever million dollars for all those cars and all the houses that he's spending per month, dude, he would be so much more wealthy at least in the long term. In the short term, he looks wealthy, but that's, you know, there's paper money and then there's actual money, all right? All right, that was a little sidetrack. I wrote it down here, and the reason I say this is because recently I said, okay, I gotta get my business back in order. In other words, I had a banner year, but I'm not, I'm, I'm literally probably doing one fourth what I should be doing. In other words, you, you have your, your future self that you'll never actually obtain. So in other words, you make a million dollars and that was your goal. Your goal was to make a million dollars. But then when, as you're making a million dollars, your future self is, oh, you're never gonna reach that future self. But the difference, what I thought was for 10 years is that knowledge will get me there. Knowledge will make me that way. Okay, there's a certain type of knowledge. Yesterday I, I went out on the limb and I said leverage and accountability. That's not really going out on the limb. Leverage is the only way to actually take action. Accountability is one of the other ways that you can take action. Action is the cure-all. First of all, your motivation, which I have BPI, BPIU. BPIU is our uh, real estate website for our real estate sales website that you can join now, it's free, it's in beta, but we, we're gonna be adding three videos a week. And in there, I noticed that I tried to make the website beautiful, just unbelievable beautiful, it's easy to use, it's mobile friendly, you had an easy checkout card, you could use PayPal, you could be using Stripe, it doesn't really matter, you know, you could use any way that you want. And then I said, listen, you gotta just start producing videos. Just start producing videos. Action is a cure-all, that's it. That's it. Yesterday I said, okay, if action is the cure-all, which I didn't say yesterday, you either need leverage or you need accountability. Leverage is saying your doctor comes up to you and says, hey, listen, you have cancer. Or your, your banker comes up to you and say, you are broke. Or the IRS says, you owe us money. Or you just, you just went through a divorce. Or your kids say, dad, where are you? That's leverage. And then there's, so that's actual leverage. And then there's future leverage. Future leverage is me, myself, I'm not going through that, but I know people that have. I know people that are got that got sued, people that went bankrupt. I'm like, listen, I don't want to go bankrupt. I don't want to go, I don't, I don't want to go through a divorce. I'm like, I gotta get this, this thing called relationships down. I gotta get my wealth down. I gotta get my business down. I gotta get no, I gotta learn learn, I gotta get the knowledge to actually, knowledge, the, the knowledge to actually do something. But the problem is I did that for 10 years and I was still in the exact same point. I was incrementally building the base for me to actually build the foundation of personal development in all areas of my life, okay? But the thing is, and I wrote this here, most read then teach, but there's very few that actually read then do. Look how many people are out there. They're selling their e-course, their, their books, 
They're, they're the interviewer instead of the interviewee. All the people that are, they're, they're starting shows, they're not really putting out original content. They're, they're actually, t they're curating all this, this content. It's hard to put out original content, whether that's a writer or a musician, or you're an athlete, or you're a YouTuber. It doesn't really matter, or Instagram, or photography. It doesn't really matter. You, putting out original content is hard, but the only way to actually put out original content and get better at, at original content, I'm, I'm, and I'm about to talk about a, a an incredible, way that they actually found out the best way to actually do better. The only way to put out original content as Stephen Pressfield in the War of Art, going pro, do the work, all great books and I just bought another one. But he said the only way is between nine and 10, as Keller said, is that you have your one thing. That's all you do, that one thing. Nine to 10, don't talk to me. That's my, that's my deep work, as Kel Newport says, and they actually had this, this experiment. And they said they had three people, three case studies. They had groups of people and they said, by the end of the semester, I want you to make the perfect pottery sculpture, okay? They had a group that just, they constructed one and they, they maneuvered it and everything else and then they put it out. In other words, they, they, they studied how to make the best one and then they made one. Then they had a group that, that continuously made, 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 made and then put one out on the end and then you had a, another group that, that made and it was like that, you know, kind of just whatever group that nobody really talks about which is, got the name of it, you have the, the control. So it was the control group, whatever you wanted to do. You don't listen to us, you just do whatever. Ironically enough, the people that kept on doing and failing and failing and making shitty pot after shitty pot after shitty pot made the best pot at the end. As opposed to the people that actually learned how to make a pot for the entire semester and then at the end of the semester they actually made a pot. In other words, they're making pottery, but the problem is the people that made pottery once but learned all, all semester how to do it, they had the worst one because all they're doing was actually learning. I wish I knew that. I wish I had the balls to actually take the amount of action I needed to take from the beginning. All I did was, I'm not gonna start until I learn. I'm not gonna do until I learn. And then what I noticed is that I actually never started. I actually never did. I never went to the gym. I never approached that pretty girl. I never made the sales calls. I never saved the money. So then I said, okay, we need a better way right now. We, we need to actually do it. And then, and I said, tomorrow. I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. And as, as Tony Robbins says, someday I'll, someday I'll, someday I'll approach that pretty girl. Someday I'll start making sales calls. Someday I'll be rich. Oh really, what are you doing up until then? Are you that, that, that one group that failed, 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 and then at, this, at the end of the semester had a, an incredible pottery because all they were doing was failing, failing, learning ways not to do it by doing it instead of learning what not to do. There is a balance. There is a balance where you learn. See, this is the thing. This is the last thing I'm gonna say. Is that 80%, if you have no foundation, the first foundation is go mental. In other words, learn what you say to yourself. Learn what you say to yourself about other people. Learn what you actually say out loud. Just learn all of the, the how you talk to yourself, psycho-cybernetics, okay? That's the foundation. You don't do anything there. You just observe what's going on in your mind, okay? So in the beginning, it's 80-20. 80% you're learning, 20% you're doing, okay? Now, for me, it's 80% doing, 20% learning. You reach a point where you just say, I gotta just start doing it. And then you say, how do I do it? Watch yesterday's video, okay? There's only two ways, accountability and leverage, okay? Accountability, you give someone money. Accountability, you have a coach. Accountability, you tell your, your girlfriend or your wife or your fiance or your boyfriend and you say, listen, if I don't go to the gym, I don't know, think of something, you know? We're, we have something, a bet with yourself. Put it out public, put it online. Say, I need to make a certain amount of sales calls. Go live on Facebook making sales calls. That's what I did earlier this year. Have an amazing day. Motivation is shit. All about doing. Experience versus knowledge, it's all about experience. It's all about doing. Action is the cure-all. All right, have an amazing day. Spread the video.